Good evening, students. Aditi, Amrita, Kshita. Good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you, madam? Fine, sir. How are you enjoyed the weekend? Yeah, just I'm starting the session. Meanwhile, rest of the people will join. Uh, last session we were discussing how to solve the quadratic equations using uh, factorization method. So we are going to discuss. I think we done all the first exercise numericals. Am I right? Students, yes. Actually, before going to the next method, a few numericals I am going to give it to you. Uh, a few numericals we will discuss from the factorization method only. Just a few numericals. Like this, I discussed with you people in the last class, guys. I will write the question. Let me know whether we discuss this kind of question or not. So, a second. If one root of the quadratic equation is if one root of the quadratic equation is if one root of the quadratic equation is two x square. Quadratic equation 2x square plus 3x plus k is equal to 0 is minus 3. Find the value of k. Find the value of k and find the other root. Find the other root. Hope you understand the guys. What I am trying to ask. Please. If you are not. If anyone is not clear with the question. Please let me know that also. Please. Is everyone clear with the question? Yes sir. Try to solve this question. Thank you. 
Is anyone got the answer K? Sir, is the answer 3 by 2, the other root? Uh, I don't know. Just uh, K is equal to how much? What is the K value? Minus. Sir, minus, minus 27. And what is the other root? Somebody told me other root. 2 into minus 3 whole square plus 3 into minus 3 plus k is equal to 0. 27 into 2. 54. Minus 54 minus 9 plus k is equal to 0. How you got 27, man? How you people got 27? The k is minus 9. So k is equal to how much, madam? Minus 9. Minus 9. How? Yeah, this is plus 54. Super. Minus. Even I am not getting minus 9 also. Some Sir, weird answers I am getting. 18 minus 9 plus k is equal to 0. No, this, is, this is not cute, guys. I am doing a lot of mistakes today. Sorry. This is 3 into 3 is 9. 9 into 2 is 18. Yeah. 18. 18 minus 9. 18 minus 9 is 9 plus k is equal to 0. So k is minus 9 I am getting. Which is correct answer, guys? Yes, sir. Sir, I got k is equal to minus 9. Yeah. Now, if k is minus 9, if I am substituting in the question, I will get the quadratic equation 2x square plus 3x minus 9 is equal to 0. How to solve this question? Using factorization. 2x square Plus 6x minus 3x minus 9 I can write. 3x I am writing as 6x comma minus 3x. Summation of. Product is minus 18x square. Sum should be 3x. Product is minus 18x square. So from here, I am taking 2x common. x plus 3 minus 3 common x plus 3 is equal to 0. If I am taking x plus 3 common, 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. x is equal to minus 3, which already is given. And x is equal to another value is 3 by 2. I think we are done, I am thinking. But anyway. Shall I go for one more question, guys? My next question is x minus 1 by x minus 2 plus x minus 3 by x minus 4 is equal to 10 by 3. Solve for x. How to do this question? First, explain anyone? Durlok, Akshita, Aditi. How to do this question?
Sir, first we need to take calcium for x minus 1 by x minus 2 plus x minus 3 by x minus 4, sir. Then mm -hmm. uh, uh, we have to multiply the numerator by 3 and uh, denominator by 10, sir. Yeah, first, I am taking LCM, correct? Yes, sir. X minus 1 into X minus 4 plus X minus 3 into X minus 2 is equal to 10 by 3. And after that, I have to do class multiplication. X square minus 4X minus 6 plus 4 plus X square minus 2x minus 3x plus 6 divided by x square minus 4x minus 2x plus 8 is equal to 10 by 3. So further calculation we use uh, 2x square minus 4 minus x minus 5 minus 5 minus 10x 6 plus 4 is 10 divided by x square minus 6x plus 8 is equal to 10 by 3. So with the two ones, two fives, again five, again five. This can be rewritten as x square minus five x plus five divided by x square minus six x plus eight is equal to five by three. Now cross multiply and write as a single quadratic equation. Five into x square minus five, sorry. Three into x square minus 5x plus 5 is equal to 5 into x square minus 6x plus 8. Now solve this question and write as what is the final quadratic equation you are getting? First tell me. After that, you can use the factorization method. What is the final quadratic equation you are getting? I am expecting answer from everyone, guys. Please. <clears throat> Yes, what is the final quadratic equation you are getting? Sir, 2x square minus 15x plus 25 equal to 0, sir. Yeah, 2x square minus uh, minus 15x plus 25 equal to 0. Plus 25 equal to 0. 25 is equal to 0. So, your product should be 50x square. Sum should be minus 15x. So, I can write like this. 2x square minus 10x minus 5x plus 25. So, the product is plus 50 x square, the sum should be minus 50x. If I'm making 2x common, x minus 5 minus 5 common, x minus 5 is equal to 0. So x minus 5 into 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. From here, x is equal to 5 or x is equal to 5 by 2. This is my answer. This is the way you have to solve. Only the measure is simplify converting into quadratic equation. The given question is not in the standard form of the <coughs> quadratic equation. So you have to convert into quadratic equation and you have to solve. So I go for one more question. Guys, before going to the next method, shall I go for one more question? Shall I go for one more question, guys? Yes, sir. Yeah.
yeah i will write the question please try to solve solve for x x by x plus 1 plus x plus 1 by x is equal to 25 by 12 please solve Sir, x equal to minus four or uh, three, sir. What is the equation you got? X square. X square plus x minus twelve equal to zero. By x into x plus one is equal to twenty five by twelve. This is x square plus x square plus one plus two x square divided by. X square plus x is equal to 25 by 12. This will be 24 x square plus 25 plus this is 2 x. 24 x is equal to 25 x square plus 25 x. If I'm taking all the things that side, x square plus x plus 25. Am I right? Minus 25. Is it right? Anything I taken as wrong? It's a twelve. Sorry, ma. It's a twelve. One into twelve is it's a twelve. So it is a twelve. So what is the split up? X square plus four x minus three x. Is the same answer? Same question? Uh, same quadratic equation you got? Madam, somebody is told the answer. Is the same quadratic equation you got? Guys, please. Yes, sir. So the x plus four into x minus three. This will give us correct. So x is equal to minus four comma plus three. X is equal to minus four comma plus three. Right.
sorry guys shall i move to the next guys is everyone got the same answer yes sir yeah i'm moving to the next one mm -hmm. many people will feel this method is easy and some people will feel little tough if there is a situation if my roots are irrational my roots are irrational and there is a situation it is not possible for me to split the middle term i don't i'm not getting any kind of combinations i'm not getting any kind of combinations if it is not possible to split the middle term that means there are some quadratic equations we may face which you can't factorize even though it is having some roots generally if the roots are irrational if the roots are irrational it is not so easy to factorize with general numbers because it's roots are irrational even i have to split the middle terms with respect to irrational how to deal these kind of questions there is another method this method was done by an indian scientist only there is a name for this method he gave his name only i will tell the name later so this method is called generally solving a quadratic equation by completing the square so the name itself actually lot of meaning here solving the quadratic equation by completing the square the meaning of completing the square is very important they will give some random equation but i have to make it as a perfect square so first i will start with the numbers to understand this procedure because the process once you understood the procedure actually it is very easy suppose if i am giving 8 if i am giving 4 4 can be written as 2 square if i am giving 8 i am asking you to write the 8 in the form of perfect square how i can write is it possible 8 is not a perfect square am i right yes sir right yes sir no guys please so if this i can write as how to make it as a perfect square this one 4 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 so i can write 8 as 9 minus 1 so 3 square minus 1 so one perfect square minus some value i can write that means if i am able to sorry if i am able to add plus 1 then whole expression can become as perfect square but if i am adding plus 1 the value of this expression is changing that's the reason adding 1 and subtracting 1 so this i will get a 9 so where 9 can be written as perfect square guys are you clear what i am saying if i am writing 5 this can be written as 4 plus 1 where it is 2 square plus 1 so to make a perfect square i have to add, if it is not a by seeing if it is not a perfect square i have to add a number or subtract some number by changing its value without changing its value what i have to do how much addition or subtraction you have to do inverse operation you have to do suppose in case of 8 i am adding 1 but i don't want to change the value so i am subtracting 1 so adding 1 and subtracting 1 will not change the value sir now i am asking you to apply this kind of concept for an equation suppose what is the expansion of x plus 2 whole square i can write as x square plus 4x plus 4 am i right guys is this right expansion yes sir suppose if i am asking you x square plus 4x plus 4 is a perfect square or not i can say sir this expression i can written as x plus 2 whole square so this this expression is a perfect square suppose if i am giving instead of this x square plus 4x plus 3 i am asking you to convert into perfect square 
that means complete the square what makes this expression to complete the square guys what what number i have to add or subtract to make expression as a perfect square please if i am adding one the whole expression i can make a perfect square but the value of the given data is changing so how much i am adding if i am subtracting i can make this whole expression as a perfect square minus 1 understand what is the meaning of i completed this expression as a square by adding or subtracting some numbers is it clear guys what i am trying to say students are you clear what i am saying sir but uh, x square plus 4x plus 3 can be written as x square plus 3x plus 1x plus 3 no sir who oh, i am saying just i am saying i want to write as a perfect square yes you can write as x square plus 3x plus x plus 3 i am not asking you to factorize i am asking you to make as a perfect square what number i have to add or subtract or what expression i have to add or subtract to make it as a perfect square understand what yes, i am not asking you to factorize if there is a situation if you are unable to factorize guys just a minute my daughter is uh, making noise please just a minute i will give one more expression yes, can you identify what values i have to subtract or 2x square plus 4y minus 4 what are the changes required to make it as a perfect square please This I can write as a perfect square. How to write this as a perfect square? So we need to add plus four, sir. I'm adding plus four. Is it enough? Plus four minus four. So this is not y ma. Sorry. Uh, this is two x square plus four x. If I'm adding two x square plus four x minus Plus four plus four minus four. How we can make it as a perfect square if I am doing like this? I want to write some whole square expression minus some number or something. How to do? Yes, this I will give some procedure for you. Why I am doing making a perfect square? There is one more method to calculate the x value. Suppose if I am having x minus two whole square plus three is equal to zero. it will be easy to solve linear equations are always easy to solve my x minus 2 sorry this is minus 3 x minus 2 whole square is plus 3 x minus 2 is equal plus or minus root 3 so my x is equal 2 plus root 3 or 2 minus root 3 this is a reason if i am able to write an expression in the form of a perfect square it will be easy to solve for x value so how to make it a perfect square i will tell you later i will explain geometrical point of view what is this meaning how it will come and all i am taking one expression 
I'm taking an equation. If I'm having an equation, nine x square minus fifteen x plus nine x square minus fifteen x plus six is equal to zero. See this, you can do even splitting the middle term. Correct. This I can write as nine x square minus nine x minus six x plus six. So if I'm taking nine x common x minus one minus six common x minus one is equal to zero. So x minus one into nine x minus six. So x is equal to one comma x is equal to six by nine. That is equal to two by three. This is one method we done. Is there any alternate method without factorizing? Yes. First check: Is it possible to simplify this equation? Is there any other format to simplify this equation? Divide Another the whole equation by three. Yeah, the whole equation. If I am dividing with three, I can able to simplify it to three x square minus fifteen x. Sorry, minus five x plus two is equal to zero. If I am planning to suppose if the question I am getting a question in such a way, I am unable to split the middle term. I am unable to do factorization method. So we are going to do. I am making this expression into a perfect square. So before going to the perfect square, first step you have to keep it in mind. Might be different books having different steps. Here I am making the x square coefficient is one. Make coefficient of X square is one. Make coefficient of x square is one. How we can make the coefficient of x square is one? Divide instead of dividing with three. Straight away in the given question, if there is any coefficient for x square, divide with nine here. So I will get x square minus five by three x plus two by three. Is everyone understood this step? Step by step, I am going because this is a common procedure for every numerical. Whether it can able to factorize, whether you are unable to factorize, you can apply any this method for any question. Yeah. Is it clear? Yeah. What is the first step I am doing, guys? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Now this is a standard form: square x and constant. Second step. Multiply x term. Multiply and divide. Multiply and divide x term with two. Why am I have to divide and multiply? See, if I am doing one operation, it will change the value. If I am multiplying and dividing. The value does not affect by multiplying and dividing. One can be written as two by two. That means I am multiplying, dividing with one with two to the one. If I am having a number three, if I am multiplying and dividing with five, that means fifteen by five. That is equal to three only. So I am not changing the value, but I am changing the expression how it is looking. So x square minus two into one by two into Y by three into x plus two by three is equal to zero. Now again, I am saying and write the middle term in the form of two into constant into x. X square minus two into x into five by six plus two by three. Whatever the constant you are getting. Square of this constant, add and subtract. Add and subtract five by six whole square. So if I'm doing like this, x square minus two into x into five by six plus five by six whole square. Minus five by six whole square 
plus 2 by 3 is equal to 0. After that, it is ready for perfect square. I am taking only these three terms. See, it is looking like a square minus 2 into a into b plus b square. This can be written as a minus b whole square. So x minus 5 by 6 whole square. Minus 5 by 6 whole square is minus 25 by 36 plus 2 by 3. Now it is ready to solve. Understood guys, what is the meaning of perfect square? I am making the variables into a linear equation square. For that, I am doing this addition, subtractions, adding some squares and subtracting the same value, multiply and divide with the two. Is it clear? This is a common procedure. Whatever the numbers they give, if you follow these steps, it will be, you will get any question answer. Is it clear what I am doing? Sir, can you explain the steps once more? I will, I will go to one more question instead of this. Okay, sir. All the questions having the same procedure. First, make x square coefficient is 1. Second step, multiply and divide with 2 to the x term. Whatever the constant you are getting in the middle term, square it, subtract and add the same number. Suppose if I am getting 5 by 6 here, 5 by 6 square adding and subtracting. So the first three terms will use the perfect square. So what is the value of this one? This value is how much? Now I am doing is x minus 5 by 6, all expressions one side, 25 by 36 minus 2 by 3. What is the value of 20, 25 by 36 minus 3? 75 minus 72 by 3. This will be 3 by 3, it is 1. Correct? Am I right or wrong? Guys, please. Is it right? Sorry. So, sorry, guys. Very sorry. What is the LCM? LCM is 36. Sorry. Uh, LCM is 36. If it is 36, 25 uh, minus 24. So it is 1 by 36. It's not 1. So my x minus 5 by 6 is whole square is 1 by 36. From here, x minus 5 by 6 is plus or minus 1 by 6. It's not only plus 1 by 6. So x is equal to x minus 5 by 6 is equal to 1 by 6 or x minus 5 by 6 is equal to minus 1 by 6. From here, x is equal to 1 by 6 plus 5 by 6. x is equal to minus 1 by 6 plus 5 by 6. What are the values I am getting? So x is equal to 6 by 6. So x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 4 by 6. That is nothing but 2 by 3. This method also you are getting the same answer, but it is a little bit longer. But this method is valid for any situation. Even if you are unable to factorize, also you can able to do. Is it clear? At least a few members understood what is the basic procedure. What is the main goal of the thing is the whole expression I have to convert into by doing some additions or subtractions or multiplications. I, I have to convert a square of a linear equation. If I am able to convert into square of a linear equation, it will be easy to solve for x without factorizing. Guys, is it clear? Shall I go for the one more question of same kind? Guys, please respond. Shall I go for one more question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I am taking one more equation. So now I am taking an equation 4x square plus 4 root 3x. Plus 3 is equal to 0.
is it possible can you split the middle term is it possible to do this question by factorization anyone please first to try the factorization method I have to split two root three into two root three. Then only I can able to split. Correct? This, if I am doing factorization, I need to know little bit more grip on the numbers. Two root three x plus two root three x plus three is equal to zero. The product is twelve x square. So product also twelve x square. Sum is four root three. Then I will get the answer. But how to do using the perfect square method converting into perfect square what is the first step guys i told what is the first step anyone can remember the first step identify the coefficient of the x square what is the coefficient of x square here 4 divide whole thing with 4 so i will get x square make x square coefficient is 1 divide both sides with 4 I will get x square plus root three x plus three by four is equal to zero. Is it clear, everyone? What is the first step, guys? Is it clear? What is the first step? So, second step: multiply root three x with two and multiply and divide multiply and divide root 3x with 2 so how we will write don't multiply full as a single number x square plus 2 into 1 by 2 into root 3x plus 3 by 4 is it clear what i done here guys is it clear guys what i done what it now restructure this middle term how i am restructuring x square plus 2 into x is separately and remaining constant separately and so whatever the constant is coming it is looking like x square plus 2ab so this is like your b value this constant square add and subtract When adding and subtraction of root three by two whole square, x square plus two into x into root three by two plus root three by two whole square minus root three by two whole square. I am adding root three by two whole square, subtracting root three by two whole square. So it doesn't matter. Is equal to zero. What I got now? This is ready for perfect square. This is the main major steps of any question. You get you would write you give with any numbers. I can apply this one. Is it clear, guys? What are the steps I done? This is a common steps. Only numbers will change for different questions. Somebody asked in previous question how to do again, please. Is it clear now? Yes, sir. It's clear. Yeah. Just a minute, guys. Hello, sir. Yeah, so this is looking like a square plus two into a into b plus b square. Now I understand why I am dividing with four, why I am multiplying and dividing with two, and why I am uh, squaring and 
that constant and subtracting again are you clear guys all these steps is the reason behind all these steps is i have to make the given expression as a perfect square plus or minus some number that is a logic behind this so this this all this can be written as x plus 2 3 2 whole square this is an expansion of a plus b whole square it is looking like a plus b whole square so minus root 3 by 2 whole square is minus 3 by 4 plus 3 by 4 is equal to 0 from here the whole expression is reduced as x plus root 3 by 2 whole square is equal to 0 x plus root 3 by 2 is equal to 0 square of 0 is 0 so my answer is x is equal to minus root 3 by 2 x is equal to minus root 3 by 2 so here two values so it is minus root 3 by 2 yes two roots are same here 0 minus root 3 by 2 0 minus root 3 by 2 that's it is it clear guys what i am trying to say guys one more question will you practice we will practice at least 10 to 12 questions based on this method then you will get one clarity what i am trying to do yes i am making what are the things are not available i am adding and subtracting by general calculations i am making the given expression as a perfect square expression what it what i am saying guys is it clear yes. one more question you people try please by your own please try by your own one, one more question Five x square minus six x minus two. First, before going to this question, I am one. I am having one question. Five x square minus six x minus two is equal to zero. Why I am asking you to learn the completing the square method? Is this question can be possible by factorization method? Suppose if this equation I am giving and I am asking you to solve, is it possible to solve this question by factorization method? anyone please is it possible to solve this question by factorization method no sir no i don't have any factors you just look into you take uh, after the class you take some time and try to explore there is no possible factors to split the middle term here you can try next after the class you just try unless until if you are very strong over the roots after the solving the question you will understand why i can't split into middle term this one why i can't use the factorization method the first step is divide with 5 on both sides what i will get if i am dividing both sides with 5 x square minus 6x by 5 minus 2 by 5 is it clear guys what i am doing yes sir no Correct or wrong? Guys, correct or wrong? Yes, sir. What is the second step? Multiply and divide minus six x by five with two. And how I will get? If I am multiplying and divide, if I am multiplying and divide, I will get like this: x square minus two into one by two into six x by five minus two by five is equal to zero. So, if I am separating the constant two and x value, x square minus two into x into six by ten minus two by five is equal to zero. Six by ten can be remodified because the numbers uh, you have to reduce the length. So I will get x square minus two into x into this number you can modify, but don't multiply with any other numbers. I need it will be like in the form of two into x into something. This can be written as three by five minus two by five is equal to zero. 
so now what was the number you are getting what do you have to do 3 by 5 whole square add and subtract with 3 by 5 add and subtract 3 by 5 whole square so this will come as x square minus 2 into x into 3 by 5 plus 3 3 by 5 whole square minus 3 by 5 whole square minus sorry minus 2 by 5 is equal to 0 so now the first three terms will gives the perfect square here so x minus 3 by 5 whole square this can be written as 3 by 5 whole square plus 2 by 5 this is 9 by 25 plus 2 by 5 This will be 19 by 25. So your x minus 3 by 5 whole square is 19 by 25. So till here, everyone clear? Till here, is yes, everyone clear? Yeah. Now take the square root on both sides. That means finally the given expression I am converting into a linear equation. Take square root on both sides. Take square root on both sides. So I will get x minus 3 by 5 is equal to plus or minus root 19 by 5. So x minus 3 by 5 is equal to plus root 19 by 5. X minus 3 by 5 is equal to minus root 19 by 5. So my x is equal to 3 plus root 19 by 5 is sorry. 3 plus root 19 by 5, or x is equal to 3 by 5, 3 by 5. So 3 plus, or 3 minus root 19 by 5. That is the reason why you can't factorize here because your roots are irrational. Whenever your roots are irrational, the factorization method is not suitable. That is the reason there are some questions. which is not possible to solve using the factorization method but any question can able to solve using the completing the square method is it clear guys what is the benefit of the completing the square method is everyone understood we'll do some more questions in next class we'll do many questions because this method we can understand and we can get one clarity what we have to do why i have to do after doing many numericals anyone having any doubt before winding up the class please no doubt sir yeah so we will meet in the next class guys anyone having any doubts please let me know otherwise i will wind up the session please please guys take some some questions which is solved by factorization method try to solve using the completing the square method check whether you are getting the same answers or not okay sir yeah we'll meet in next class bye everyone thank you sir bye sir thank you, thank you sir thank you sir thank you